So going over to the NBA now, we saw games early hours of this morning, um, 7th of November, and the Golden State Warriors, yet again, they have lost uh, a game, and uh, Steph Curry is still not back. But then uh, we have our guy in America talking about uh, Ayo Tunde on Nobolu, who gives us a rundown of the results of the NBA. Let's listen to Ayo Tunde on Nobolu. With their loss in the early hours of this morning, Nigerian time to the Houston Rockets, 129-112. The Golden State Warriors are now 2-6. and six. Who would have thought? But of course, you got to understand that Stephen Curry is out for at least three months because of a broken hand. Draymond Green is having all sorts of issues with his hands right now. So he's not even on the, on the uh, road trip with the Warriors as we speak. D'Angelo Russell has a problem with his ankle. So he's also been sidelined and now the Warriors are going into games and you are seeing a starting lineup including Glenn Robinson, Eric Pascal, Willie Collistein, you know, uh, Jordan Poole and Kai Bowman and you're like, who are these guys? This team looks like a G League team all of a sudden. That exactly is what is happening with the Warriors right now. It's not the kind of situation a team that just moved into their multi-billion dollar facility, the Chase Center in uh, San Francisco. Cisco will be thinking they would find themselves and um, so the question is what do they do going forward I have come out to make suggestions that even when um, Stephen Curry comes back from injury in a minimum of three months I think he should be placed on the minutes restriction I think the Golden State Warriors should just forget about this season and start looking ahead to next season they can shut down their guys now this is what it offers them they will be a lottery team going forward and being a lottery team means they have an opportunity Opportunity to draft high in the draft class of the year 2020 and there'll be some incredible talent right there and uh, Stephen Curry will be back um, fit to play next season Draymond Green back fit to play next season uh, Clay Thompson back fit to play next season and they can decide if they want to keep D'Angelo Russell or not but in D'Angelo Russell and the lottery pick they have they have two incredible pieces they can actually trade away to get more established talent to challenge for the title so the Warriors I don't think their fans should be so upset about this season I think they should go about their business as usual forget about this season forget but forget about the playoffs this season and just look ahead to next season where i feel the warriors will not just be a solid team they will be title challengers yet again if they can do what i just said let Steph rest, let Draymond rest, let D'Angelo rest, get all of them fit and ready to go next season but then use D'Angelo Russell and the lottery pick in the draft as incredible invaluable trade pieces to land a lot of talent Welcome back. Yes, uh, uh, Mario Sunday giving us analysis of uh, the Golden State Warriors and how far they will go this season, knowing that uh, Steph Curry is still out injured in that one. But uh, the guys uh, for the Golden State Warriors are giving their best, but most people actually think they are playing as rookies in that one. But we'll see how far they can go. And talking about uh, the NBA regular season, um, I don't know if we have that um, yet, so we'll get to see the results of the games that went down in the early hours of this morning. And from there, uh, we'll go on a break, and when we we'll come back, we'll be talking about tennis and it has to do with Novak Djokovic, Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal. We'll be right back after the NBA results. So a quick wrap of um, NBA games played this early morning, Nigerian time. Of course, that will be last night. Andre Drummond continued his stellar start to the season. He dropped 27 points and grabbed 12 rebounds as the Detroit Pistons beat the New York Knicks 122-102. Domantas Sabonis recorded a double-double, 13 points and 17 boards. The Pacers, the Indiana Pacers, that is, they moved to 4-4 four four in the season, beating the Washington Wizards 121-106. to Six. The Atlanta Hawks welcomed back Trey Young for a second game back from injury, but he only scored nine points as they were blown away at home by the Chicago Bulls, 113 to 93. Apparently, assistant coach of the Hawks in anger at some point in the third quarter threw a chair. Hmm. Now the Toronto Raptors defeated the Sacramento Kings, 124, 120. Pascal Siakam continuing his MVP type performances. So 
so far this season. 23 points and 13 boards and the Raptors have improved to 5 wins and 2 losses. It's still early days in the season but of course I remember a lot of people said the Raptors would not be in the reckoning for the NBA Finals. We'll find out about that. And then the Houston Rockets defeated the Golden State Warriors 129-112. James Harden 36 points and 13 assists and Clint Capella a monster game. 19 points and 16 boards. Incredible one for the Rockets who are now 5-3. and three. The Warriors by the way are now 2-6. and six. Uh, The Memphis Grizzlies defeated the Minnesota Timberwolves 137-101. Rookie Ja Morant porting 26 points in that one. Luka Doncic finished with 27 points, 7 rebounds and 7 assists as the Dallas Mavericks beat the Orlando Magic by 1 point 107-106. The Utah Jazz beat the Philadelphia 76ers 106-104. It was Joel Embiid's first game back from suspension for the Philadelphia 76ers but then it was Donovan Mitchell who scored 24 points and had 8 assists to give the Jazz the win and in the final game it was the Los Angeles Clippers without Kawhi Leonard. They lost at home to Yanis Antetokounmpo and the Milwaukee Bucks 129-124. Yanis finished with 38 points, 16 rebounds, 9 assists and yep, let it sink. He drained four three-pointers in the game. Thank you very much, Ayotin Del Nobulu, for your voice, uh, lending your voice on the NBA, giving us a bit of analysis from the results of games that went down early this morning.